in the diplomatic world of I will show you. America is not sending an official delegation to watch the opening ceremony of the 2022 Beijing Olympics. American athletes will compete as long as the COVID-19 outbreak is manageable. China put out a statement about the diplomatic boycott. It is a travesty of the Olympic spirit. It is political provocation and an offense to the 1.4 billion Chinese people. If the U.S. is insistent on going down the wrong path, China will take necessary and resolute countermeasures. The Olympic spirit is an interesting phrase. The Olympic spirit seems to be wrapped around money, and the Biden administration boycott might have some impact on American companies doing business at the Olympics. President Joe Biden and First Lady Jill Biden will not be in Beijing. The International Olympic Committee, Beijing organizers, and the Chinese government will just have to live with a diplomatic boycott. There will be countries who are going to send athletes to compete in the Beijing Games. The other countries that might consider a diplomatic boycott of the Beijing Olympics include Australia, Canada, Lithuania, and the United Kingdom. Meanwhile, Russia and India are supporting China. The IOC is standing strong with its Beijing partners. After all, there is money to be made. A number of countries are not happy with China's human rights record, Uyghur oppression, and then there is the curious story of the missing Chinese tennis star, Pang Shui. The United States has accused China of committing genocide on the Uyghurs. There are also questions about the origin of the COVID-19 illness and whether China could have done more to stop its spread two years ago. Athletic boycotts don't work in Olympic circles. The 1976 African countries walk out of the Montreal Games because of apartheid and the U.S. 1980 boycott of the Moscow Games both failed. Um, Evan Weiner. Thank <laughs> you.